Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about interrupts. You can understand basically interrupt as a function like in C programming or Java programming we write different function to make our work easier. Similarly we have interrupts in 8086 assembly language. And all the interrupts are stored in interrupt vector table. Basically there are two type of interrupts. The one is software interrupt and second one is hardware interrupt. But in our programming we have to deal with software interrupt. So the simple syntax of software interrupt is int. int is a short form of interrupt. int value. And this value contains the number. Whatever uh, number we give that is number. The number range from 0 to 255 you can see here. So we have total of 0 to 255 means total of 256 interrupts we have in our interrupt vector table. Uh, these are some simpler example of interrupt which we are going to use in our coding. The simpler, uh, simple examples are int 10h, int 21h, the int int stands for interrupt. So this one is interrupt 21h and this one is interrupt 10h. Here in this table you can see there are type of interrupts like type 31 interrupt, type 32 interrupt and uh, from 0 to 255 we have total of 256 interrupts available. Some of the interrupts are reserved for uh, the DOS operation um, we are programming in DOS operating system so some of the reserves, um, interrupts are uh, reserved for DOS operating system there are 27 number of interrupts which are reserved for um, operating system and we have 224 number of interrupts available for us that we can use in our program. Basically I am not dealing with the theory part so I won't go into much detail on theory so but basically you can see here there are 0 to 255 types of um, different interrupts um, means there are 20 256 interrupts and uh, different interrupts has different function assigned when you use some interrupt like when you use in 21 h then the corresponding decimal value if some suppose we have uh, for 21 h we have corresponding decimal value is 33 then the 34th value uh, value interrupt uh, that is stored in the machine will be called okay and the corresponding functions will be invoked so this is our interrupt vector table we can see here the 0th position 0 number is divide error the first one is single step so different interrupts different numbers have different value and they are used for different operation we will be using some of the interrupts in our program language but not all and here we have some of the interrupts which are most useful in uh, assembly language coding they are 10h this is used for a screen manipulation function and uh, later in the this video only later we will see how 10h is used for a screen manipulation function and what kind of manipulation we can do using interrupt 10h. The second example is in 21h I have already given this example previously. So this in 21h basically deals with input and output operation over the screen. And uh, you can see here we are using DOS API. So most of the DOS API which we use, they are called by 21H interrupt. The third example is 13H. It basically deals with the storage that is memory is primary and secondary storage of your device, that DOS, DOS operating system and whatever compatible device you are using. And this one, this int 16H, this is also so much important. Uh, this deals with the keyboard control and read operation. You can control your keyboard that whatever number you are typing and the other um, things that we will see in our upcoming programs. And here I have explained why we use 10h or why uh, how do we use 10h or in 21h in our program. So here we can see if we have to clear our screen in the first example if we have to clear our screen then this is the code to clear our uh, screen. So. I told in the begin uh, in the beginning that um, int 10 is, is uh, most important interrupt that we are gonna use in our program. So, and also I have told that we use this interrupt in a screen manipulation function. So, the clearing of a screen generally in C programming or Java programming or in Linux also we use clear a screen command 
to clear the screen or even in database also we use clear screen command but here in assembly language this is the code to clear the screen and we are calling our function int 10 h second example is to print on the screen suppose you want to print something suppose you want to print hello world and uh, you want to print your name or something else you want to print you want to print any message over the screen so this is the code to print your message over the screen so as i have told in the beginning itself that while coding i will be explaining each and every line so we can see here friends suppose we have a message hello world and we have to print it over the screen then this one is the code to print the message over the screen so to print the message on the screen we are loading the effective address of message and just note one thing friend here that the message is getting a stored in dx register i have already mentioned previously that dx is register that we use and what we are doing here the uh, we are uh, storing the effective address of message in dx register and this one is the code move ah 09h in 21h so to print anything on the screen you need this code and uh, i have uh, told earlier that in 21h is uh, basically deals with the input output operation and so many other functions we have um, associated with in 21h but basically here we are printing our message on the screen and we are using this code please remember this code friends for um, it will be very useful not only this code but this code also to clear a screen whenever you will be clearing the screen again and again you will have to use the same code to clear the screen move a 00 move a 02 int 21 h the second thing once again i am telling to remember is we anything if we are uh, storing suppose we are storing message that will be stored in dx register and this code will print the content of dx register this code move a 09 h and in 21 h it will print the stored in dx register in next video friends i will be explaining which tool to be used to code for 8086 like mesm and how we can use dos box in our windows operating system and uh, how we can use 8086 it is very a small application you can install it i will make it give you a link how you can download 8086 and dosbox